Hello everyone, this is Hunter at Vapor Honing Technologies and today we're back with a video for abrasives for dummies. Stay tuned, let's jump into it, let's talk about all of these abrasives and you can pretty much pick out what's going to fit your application after this video. So the first abrasive we are going to discuss is the silicon carbide, which is all the way down there in the Weekend Warrior. This is a really, really tough abrasive. This is a super hard abrasive. This is a sharp edged abrasive. Applications that this abrasive is good for is removing powder coat, prepping for powder coat. It's going to be really good for those kinds of applications, more heavy duty applications, I should say. But the next abrasive we're going to discuss is ceramic bead, which is in our 800 base in the showroom. Ceramic bead is really unique and the reason ceramic bead is really unique is because it provides a satin finish so it's not going to be that super mirror like polished finish you're going to get out of a glass bead it's going to be satin it's going to be toned back a little bit but the cool thing about ceramic is that it's a solid bead so it is round like the glass bead is but it's solid so it's not going to be hollow meaning that that's going to last a lot longer it lasts about 10 times as long as glass bead does in a cabinet but it is more expensive but you do get your time use out of the ceramic bead when you purchase it at that higher price. And if you're looking for a satin finish, that's definitely the route you're going to want to take. The next abrasive we're going to talk about is glass bead. We highlighted it a little bit in the ceramic bead, but glass bead is also another round abrasive. It is hollow, so it doesn't hit as hard as the ceramic bead does. It's way less aggressive. What that's going to do is that's going to polish your parts. It's going to roll the surface of the metal and close the pores. This does last a shorter time frame than what ceramic bead does, but it also is a lot cheaper and it gives you more of that polish OEM finish that you're trying to go for to make the parts look brand new, maybe even better than factory. With aluminum oxide, which is here in our 800 FL Pro, this is a really good abrasive if you're trying to provide a matte finish or prep surfaces for things like Cerakote, clear coat, paint, anodize. There's a lot of different applications that aluminum oxide can work for, but also there's a lot of different sizes of aluminum oxide. So we have a super fine, we have all the way up to like like a cracked pepper size aluminum oxide. So really depends on what you're going for finish wise, but it is gonna provide a jagged edge. So it's gonna clean surfaces really quickly. Just really depends on your application for the size of it that you're gonna use. Now for soda, this is another really interesting, interesting abrasive that you can use with the wet blast process. Soda is water soluble, so you have to super saturate your mixture, but it's really good for just simple cleaning. It's not gonna give you a finish, it's just gonna remove you know, maybe build up or grease caking on or anything like that. It'll remove those kinds of things on your parts, but it's not going to give you a finish. It will be more of a bare metal finish, not going to give you any kind of polish, any kind of matte, but it is really good for that kind of application. We commonly see it used with engine parts because with engine parts, obviously those things are sensitive to abrasives. Even though wet blast doesn't embed in surfaces, it's not going to damage those engine pieces by any means. Soda is a safer route to use because it does just dissolve. So if you want to use soda, that's what soda is used for really solid abrasive to use. Now, a special mention is gonna be garnet. Garnet is more aggressive than what aluminum oxide is gonna be, but less aggressive than what silicon carbide is gonna be. It's applicable to the same kind of uses that a silicon carbide would be used for. So maybe removing powder coat, prepping for powder coat, any kinds of those applications or prepping the surface. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Our number here is 828-202-5563.